Я вот так посмотрел, очень много людей валялось, вот все кричали, э, и очень много тропов, так же самое возле меня практически, где-то пять человек было, просто сразу, мгновенно. Вот и с той стороны как раз таки, где вот это все произошло, вот я единственный, кто там выжил. This is the aftermath of a cluster munition attack on a crowded train station used to evacuate civilians in the eastern Ukrainian city of Kramatorsk. At least 58 civilians, including five children, were killed. Over 100 people were injured. The attack is one of the deadliest single incidents for civilians since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine on February 24th, 2022. Human Rights Watch and Situ Research have analyzed the attack in Kramatorsk with the synthesis of on-site investigations, witness interviews, photos, videos, and satellite imagery. We found compelling evidence that Russian forces are responsible for this attack on a known evacuation hub. Russian claims that it had not deployed the missile system used that day are unfounded. The attack shows the devastating effect that cluster munitions have on civilians. In the days before the April 8 attack, as the Russian offensive in the east intensified, tens of thousands of people fled through Kramatorsk. The station became a known evacuation site for civilians fleeing the fighting in Ukraine's eastern Donbass region. On the morning of the attack, more than 500 people were at the station. At about 10.30 a.m., this video captured the first explosion. Я упал под лавочку и сгруппировал все, закрыл полностью лицо максимально, прижался и прозвучал еще один взрыв, и после этого взрыва больше 10 взрывов. The munition, which was apparently launched from Russian-controlled territory, was a Tachka-U short-range ballistic missile, over six meters long, and fitted with the cluster munition warhead containing 50 smaller bombs. The Russian army is known to use this missile. This is how these weapons work. The missile opens overhead, releasing 50 small bombs or submunitions, called 9N24. As they fall, fabric ribbons slow and stabilize the submunitions so that they strike the ground at the required angle for detonation. Upon impact, 1.45 kilograms of explosives detonate, dispersing hundreds of steel fragments over a wide area. Each submunition contains 316 metal fragments like this. At least 15,000 of these fragments, optimized to injure and kill, were unleashed on or around the Kramatorsk station, injuring and killing civilians on the spot. One missile submunitions typically fall over a wide area. In this case, Human Rights Watch found impacts at the train station, on the tracks, and in the surrounding area. In this image, the circles in blue indicate the minimum area of damage from each of the 32 submunition impacts that Human Rights Watch found. The 18 other submunitions may have detonated nearby or be lying unexploded. Human Rights Watch correlated submunition impacts with the locations of the dead and wounded in five locations around the main station concourse. X-rays provided by a hospital in Kramatorsk show people with metal fragments that have the same size and shape of those from the 9N24 submunition. У меня больше 30 осколков, как бы были поражены как и, наверное, нервное окончание, потому что у меня до сих пор, например, на правой ноге стопа не выворачивается, как бы там их, в принципе, вытаскивать говорят нет смысла. 
потому что больше придется меня точно зашивать полностью. Если взять вообще наиболее, это были большие политравмы, которые были самые первые пути пациентов, это были ампутованные кинцовки, фактически проникающие поранения. Human Rights Watch confirmed the presence of some Ukrainian forces near the train station, but found no evidence of military personnel or equipment on the tracks or in the station at the time of the attack. Train stations and train tracks can be valid military targets, but the use of cluster munitions in an attack on a station with hundreds of civilians violated the laws of war. Russia has frequently denied using the Tachka U missile and claimed they were removed from service in 2019. But Human Rights Watch found evidence of Tachka missile remnants, including missile storage and transportation boxes, in areas of Ukraine under Russian control in April 2022. This June 6, 2022 satellite image of Kuni, 77 kilometers north of Krematorsk, shows Tachka transportation boxes on the ground. The shape and dimensions of the boxes match this image taken in Russia in 2016. Human Rights Watch visited Kuni after Ukrainian forces retook the area in September 2022 and saw remnants of missile container boxes at the site. From here, the Tachka U could have easily reached Kramatorsk. The area was also within Russian control in April when the strike occurred.